I'm recreating the entire Mario movie within Mario Maker 2 to make the Super Mario Movie video game adaptation. I'm not just making a few levels or only the good parts, I'm doing the entire movie. And here's how I did it. Basically, I've broken down the movie into nine main sections that are gonna be the nine levels in this game. Starting with level one, running through Brooklyn. So this will be a simple intro level based on when Mario and Luigi's car broke down and they were running through Brooklyn to get to their plumbing job. Mario Maker really doesn't have any city theme, but I think I can use the airship style to achieve this look in a unique way. Basically, these giant semi-solid pieces I use to give off a decent looking city building. For the rest of the levels, I am going to try and use the new Super Mario Bros style since it best matches the movie. But for this one, I decided to stick with the original theme. Just because I can get a really good looking construction site vibe here, and it's the first level, so it's a nice homage to the first Mario Bros game. I started the level with a little parkour platforming section through the city to show Mario jumping over trash cans and going by his broken plumber car. But then the level gets more interesting when we get to the construction site section from the movie. I started with a reference to the first Mario Bros game and then I used the various semi-solids to make the crates and scaffolding. There was a scene where Mario is swinging on a girder from the Donkey Kong arcade game, so I made a few of these swinging girder designs myself using a teeter-totter and track layouts. I wanted to extend this part a bit more though, so I found this really interesting crane design that I included since it's very fitting for a construction site. The rest of this level consists of swinging on various cranes onto different scaffolding. And I even had it ending with you climbing over the fence to swing onto the flagpole. If it seems like I'm going fast through some parts, well that's because I just have a lot of building to get through in this video. We still gotta build scenes like the fire flower field, the bonsai bill chase, and the battle against Donkey Kong. But for now, let's move on to level two, discovering the Mushroom Kingdom. The next level, I wanted to base on the moment where Mario gets launched out of the warp pipe and sees the Mushroom Kingdom for the very first time. But I specifically wanted to show the process of leaving the real world and discovering the Mushroom Kingdom. So for the first part of the level, it's gonna start in Brooklyn. Unfortunately, I did have to use the grass theme here and you'll see why later. So these are about the best looking buildings I can make with this. Then I transitioned into the sewers where Mario and Luigi were trying to stop the massive flood in Brooklyn. I added this rail to represent the tiny pipe they were climbing on to reach the valve, and then I created the super deep tunnel they found with all the pipes in the movie. The scene didn't look exactly like this in the movie, but in a video game level, I think it would work better like this. See, I'm framing it like you think you're supposed to jump to this ledge, but end up falling down this pipe room to discover the Mushroom Kingdom warp pipe. Which is like how Mario thought he could reach the valve, but ends up falling, leading him to that big room of sewer pipes. At the bottom of all this, we take the green warp pipe and get transported to the Mushroom Kingdom. And in this part, we go back to the grass theme, which is why I had to use the grass at the start of the city, since you can only use two themes per level. I use the mushroom platform a lot in this area to make all types of mushrooms and really make it feel like a mushroom forest. I wanted to end the forest with the cliff in the movie where Mario sees the castle for the first time, and I like how in this theme you can see Peach's castle in the background too. Then I transitioned to a mushroom platforming section with no ground for the rest of the level, since that's exactly what Mario and Toad do, jump on mushrooms. Overall, I think the visuals turned out really well for this mushroom part. Level three, Toad Town. Now we're getting to the part where Mario enters the Toad Village for the very first time, and then he climbs up to the castle to meet Peach. So I made these little huts using semi-solids and mushrooms to look like the little toad houses. Even had the three coins that the toads were hitting in the movie at the start of that scene. I wanted this level to mostly be a vertical one to show Mario and Toad climbing all the hills to reach the castle at the very top. So I used a bunch of lifts to jump between to represent the various lift sections in the movie. And I had a few single brick platforming parts, like how in the movie Mario is jumping on them and is all like, Whoa, okay, so these bricks are just floating here. I also added a bunch of pipes everywhere, just as details, since you can see all these pipes going in and out of the hills in the movie. And yeah, this is when I started to realize this was a way bigger project than I first thought. Including the editing, it took over 80 hours to complete, and it takes less than a second to subscribe, so if you like this video, it would mean a lot if you could do that. Thanks. Then at the top, I created a part where Mario is trying every pipe to find the one that leads to the castle, 
but is just going in circles. So I made only one warp pipe lead to the right path while the others kept you in the same area. Only problem is, in Mario Maker 2, pipes have to go between the main world and the sub world. You can't just connect two pipes together in the same area. So I had to make an exact replica of this area in the main world so that you can warp between these two places and it'll give the illusion that you're staying in the same spot. But then I also realized you can only have 10 pipes per level that can warp you. Yeah, it's not perfect, some pipes you can't enter, but this section is very easy to get confused and lost in. Which was the same thing Mario was feeling in the movie, so I'm glad I could replicate that aspect. Then I had the correct pipe lead to the castle, which I made using a bunch of semi-solids for the walls, ice blocks for the windows, and red on-off blocks for the roof. I'd say it turned out pretty good. I created a little inside section with Peach's stairs, but once you're in, that's pretty well the end of the level. Level 4, Peach's Training Game. And okay, this is like the perfect scene to turn into a video game level, because it's literally made out of Mario pieces. Not really much to say about this one, I literally just used the movie to make the exact layout for this level. And I mean, I specifically wanted to make it exact. Adding the three piranha plants to jump over, having the fireballs to slide under, and using the spring that Peach uses to launch herself to the next section. And already, this level was shaping up quite nicely. Only tricky part was at the end, where in the movie, Peach jumped on a bunch of bullet bills to reach the flagpole, but in the level, these bullet bills would not launch fast enough, so you had to wait a sec for them to fire, which really threw off the pacing. So I used the cannons, which fired quicker, and combined it with the bullet bills to jump on after. Then I added spikes so you couldn't land on top of the cannons. You have to jump on the bullets, then directly to the flag. Also, since Peach absolutely sped through the training course in the movie, and because this level was seemingly short to begin with, I decided to make the timer 30 seconds long and turned it into a speedrun type level. Level 5, Journey to the Jungle Kingdom. This is the montage of Mario, Toad, and Peach as they travel across many different kingdoms in order to get to the Jungle Kingdom, and there they meet with Donkey Kong. Since the traveling scene in the movie was just a bunch of short clips, I made a bunch of small rooms that have the various scenes in them, starting with a simple mushroom forest scene to show them leaving the Mushroom Kingdom. Then the first main scene I created was when they were walking across Bubomb Battlefield, complete with the question mark cannon in the front and a floating island in the sky. The cheap cheap scene was pretty simple to make. I just put a bunch of flying fish in the water and added some semi-solids to match the look of the movie. I then created the Yoshi scene by using these moving platforms to look like the Yoshis were running. Kinda, I guess. I don't know, it's the best I could do. And made some Yoshi fruit trees using vines and red blocks since Mario was eating them in the scene. Then finally, there was the part where they were climbing up all those tall stone cliffs to look over the clouds. And I made those using semi-solids, gray blocks, and obviously, well, cloud blocks. The only scene I had to cut out was the Sand Kingdom one, and that's just because these levels are limited to two themes, and the desert aesthetic doesn't work at all with the jungle style. But hey, I'm glad I could create every other scene in this one level. Now, onto the main part of the level, which is gonna be the scene with the fire flower fields with the giant tree in the background. So I changed it to the nighttime jungle, which looked great. For the field, I I basically just added a bunch of pipes that continuously shoot out fire flowers so the field would stay populated when you collect them, and then some more flowers on some semi-solids. The tree was kind of tricky to make. My first design was literally just too fat and didn't look like a tree at all, so I started from scratch, redrew this thing to be a lot more thinner and have a lot more curves. Then I added thinner branches at the top and sides, plus I made leaves using vines. And I am super happy with the final result. This is is a pretty accurate recreation from the movie. Now they didn't do too much in this scene, but I wanted to make a level out of it, so I had Mario go into the tree and climb up the inside of it to reach the end of the level. I filled the tree with a bunch of grass-based challenges, like a spiny vine climbing section, a fire piranha plant part, and jumping over muncher pits. This level I didn't intend on making, but I really wanted to challenge myself to create all the major scenes in this movie, so I eventually decided to include this one too. And I'm super glad I did because this turned into one of my favorite levels. Level 6, The Fight Against Donkey Kong. This level is going to be based on Mario going through the Jungle Kingdom and then ending with the boss fight against Donkey Kong in the Colosseum. 
I started the level with going through the gate to enter this place. The jungle theme was perfect here too, plus it had these semi-solids that looked exactly like the docks that the huts were on in this kingdom. I tried a few different designs for these little huts that were in the movie, but I settled on using the yellow mushrooms for the roof with some bricks under them. Then I made a jungle type tree and added these all over too. So I created this area using the docks, huts, and various enemies. Then I wanted to have Mario scale up one of the big mountains with the spiraling paths in the movie. The slopes weren't steep enough for this, so I used some semi-solids to make a very blocky pyramid shape. Then I had some bridges as the paths. Now I thought it'd be cool to climb up and get some keys, but then on your way down you get ambushed with spike balls, and I thought it turned out pretty well. The next part I wanted to show is Mario going off the jump and flying into the golden monkey's mouth where he meets Cranky Kong. Since I didn't have any cars, I used the fast version of the skull coaster and made it so you had to jump to the golden monkey. I even made the waterfall using blue on-off bricks and ice. And I had Cranky Kong as this cranky wiggler inside. The next part of this level was going to be the fight against Donkey Kong. So I made a pretty sweet looking coliseum and even added enemies as people in the stands with a few hammer bros that throw things down on you to make the fight more challenging. And for Donkey Kong, I kinda had to use Boom Boom. Really, he's the closest boss to looking like DK, plus I can make him big to match his size. I also gave him wing arms so he can fly since I didn't just want him to fall in the water and die easily that way. Basically, I had this fight play out like you're supposed to first go up here and get the mushroom power up, which then allows you to break the floor and get the squirrel suit to help you in the fight. And I did this since in the movie there was a lot of power-ups used in this scene. After the fight, that is pretty well the level, which takes us to... Level 7, Rainbow Road. Yeah, so this level is going to be the entire section in the movie when all the characters are racing on those go-karts. And this will be the first level that I'll use the 3D World style, since it actually has a vehicle that I can use as the cart here. However, the 3D World style also has the most restrictions, which is why I haven't been using it, so replicating the same level from the movie is gonna be tougher here. The level consists of two sections broken up into two subworlds. The first one where all the characters first get in the carts and are driving on that long straightaway, and the second part where they drive on Rainbow Road and get ambushed by Bowser minions. So I started the level in a little hangar here with other unused carts in this area. Then I simply made this long straightaway with these semi-solids to look like the pillars that hold it up. I also made some broken parts on the road to jump over to just make this part not completely boring. Then to transition into Rainbow Road, I made that giant jump in the movie. The part where Cranky Kong's all like, well then you better step on the gas! <laughs> Yeah, that one. So I made a bunch of boosts to launch yourself to the next part through this cloud transition. The airship theme was a lot more fitting for Rainbow Road, but then we had a problem. There's no actual rainbow texture in the 3D world style. Great, so getting the look will be a challenge. However, my workaround for this was to use the warp pipes as the road and then keep alternating the colors to make it look like a rainbow. And it turned out all right. I made a little circuit here, so you'll first get bounced by this spring, which leads you to the on off switch. Then you'll get bounced back to the previous part where the spring was, but now you can progress past the blocks. Then it leads you to the ambush part. Now in the movie, all of Bowser's minions were hiding up on some rocks before coming down and surprising the Mario squad. So to mimic this, I had a bunch of Koopa carts above the track that are launched down with the use of springs when the player drives under them. This causes a lot of chaos for the player, which is much like the movie scene. Then to end the level, I made a broken section of the road, which is like the part where the blue shell destroys it, so then you fall down into the water, which leads to this pipe, ending the level. Level 8, Wedding Crashers. Yes, now we're getting closer to the finale, and for this level, I wanted Mario to go up to Bowser and Peach's wedding, and then he's gonna get chased all around the Mushroom Kingdom by the Bonsai Bill. This level's gonna begin in a vertical part up high at Peach's wedding. So I'll start with a small section that has Mario climbing up those big chains in the movie that leads to Bowser's castle airship thingy. But this is really just a way to transition into the vertical subworld. And once we're up here, I made the rest of the level into one big chase sequence, cause really, that's what this movie scene is. I wanted Mario to just keep zigzagging through various Mushroom Kingdom landmarks while falling down as the Bonsai Bill chases him. 
So I started with the wedding scene of course, having the player immediately have to run and jump on the Goomba's heads to avoid the bonsai bills. Then you leave Bowser's ship and fall down to a lower section. In this next part, I had Mario run by a mini version of Peach's castle to represent how he stopped the bonsai bill from almost hitting that structure. Then I had a few more sections after this, like going through Toad's village, and then the mushroom forest, which leads you to the pipe that starts the horizontal part. I love this first vertical part though, it is super fun to play and goes through so many movie scenes. I simply laid out all the bonsai bills to move horizontally this time and want to create a mushroom platforming section through the mushroom forest. This part was much more problematic though, since it was super easy to just cheese the bonsai bills and defeat them, which removes most of the challenge. I tried a few things to stop this, but none of them really worked. So I had to change this section up a bit. I kept the horizontal bills, but now also added vertical ones, so you had to keep moving forward as well. This actually worked out very well, since I designed the level to always keep the player moving and timed it so you barely make it past the bonsai bills, which is like how the the bonsai bill almost caught up to Mario in the movie. And then of course I ended this level with the final warp pipe that leads back to Brooklyn. Level 9, Bowser in Brooklyn. So this is the last level in this game, and obviously it's going to be about Bowser coming to Brooklyn and trying to destroy Mario and the city. And then the second part of this level will be Mario getting the Power Star and defeating all the enemies with it, including Bowser. Now I saw a really cool concept for how to use the Mario Maker Bowser online by Odyssey Central, where he used this track pattern and attached three Bowsers to it, then used an auto-scroll stage at a slow speed that would make it so these Bowsers follow the player's pace and constantly rain down fireballs on him. And I think that is the perfect way to show Bowser destroying the city and Mario with his fire. So yeah, the first part of the level I made like this, you just have to avoid the fireballs and get to the end. I placed a bunch of breakable blocks to show that the city is being destroyed by Bowser too. Then you go through a pipe in order to get a star in which you'll run back to defeat Bowser while plowing through a bunch of enemies. And yeah, I know, okay, normally Mario Maker levels that do this are pretty lame stages, but come on, cut me some slack, that is literally what happens in the movie, so I had to make this sequence here. I also added a bunch of platforms forming sections here so it is still fun to play but after you defeat Bowser using the star you go through the pipe and that is the game. But yeah overall these turned out very well it was definitely a challenge but worth it in the end. See ya everybody!